Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is about how Frank Lampard can deploy both Christian Pulisic and Callum Hudson-Odoi on Chelsea's flanks for years to come. But before we get into today's video, please do subscribe to the channel as we're closing in on 10,000 subscribers now, which is awesome. So please do sub, hit the bell notifications icon, and why not like the video to help me out? Right then, today's video is a positive one, looking to the future of the bright prospects of both Pulisic and hudson Adoy and how they can help out Chelsea's attack. Now, the centre forward position at Chelsea is kind of uh, an unknown quantity, or certainly we can't really speculate who's going to be there long term. Hopefully it works out for Tammy Abraham and it's the young English lad, but one thing that is for certain is the flanks should be occupied by both Callum hudson Adoy and Christian Pulisic for years to come, maybe even 10 years. Most of you will know both Callum and Christian can play on either flank, which is a bonus tactically, so they can be deployed on either side depending on how Frank wants them to approach the game against the opposition. One might play on the, uh, one side better than the other for a different tactical approach, but it also means they can interchange comfortably throughout any game. But how will Frank deploy these two youngsters tactically? How will it work? Today I'm going to show you some graphics how this could work tactically. So on that, let's look at the analysis page. Right, so this first shape in formation is the 4-4-2 out of possession and Christian Pulisic playing on the shoulder. Now we've seen him do this to great success already in preseason when he scored those two fantastic goals against Salzburg. Essentially Chelsea sits in two banks of four and they have two players that remain up the pitch that deploy a high press. Now usually if Chelsea are further up the pitch this will be a striker with the number 10. So for example it might be Tammy Abraham with Mason Mount. We've often seen that in preseason. But if Chelsea are camped down deeper even in their defensive third they leave Christian Pulisic further up and the two banks of four consist of different players. So in this instance, if Pulisic's deployed on the left and hudson is deployed on the right, hudson Doy will tuck in and make the second bank of four, but Pulisic will be waiting to play on the shoulder for a long diagonal ball that he can run onto. Pulisic is immensely fast generally, and he's immensely fast when he's carrying the ball, so it makes him the perfect candidate to basically execute this offensive action. Now we saw when he scored those two excellent goals against Salzburg, he timed his runs perfectly and his touches, his takes from the pass were superb and when it came to the one on one finish, sublime. I know he's actually playing down the left wing when he makes this breakaway, but the way he plays so perfectly on the shoulder kind of reminds me of Jamie Vardy, so I think this would be perfect in the Premier League, and like I said, with his touch and his one-on-one -on -one finishing, you'd back him to do the business. This will work perfectly against high possession opposition, and when playing in a deep block like that, Callum hudson Adoy can absolutely chip in with defensive work. He had a few wobbles last season, but he's shown he knows what to do as well, and also he can break down the right when needed, or also when the whole team break out, Callum hudson Adoy is very good at combining when breaking out of the press or just breaking away. Right then, let's look at another shape. Keeping to the same flanks, Pulisic can play down the left comfortably and carry the ball all the way down to the left hand byline. At this point he can get his head up, look to either do a cutback, play the ball back to combine or even try and whip the ball across the goalkeeper and score a goal. We saw him do this in pre-season, he went near post and actually missed but if he whips the ball across the keeper he has a good chance of scoring a goal. Whereas Callum hudson Adoy in this offensive approach can play more as an inside forward. Now we've seen him sort of occupy this space to great success already at Chelsea. He scored that great goal in the Europa League last season where he moved inside, shimmied to that sort of area and scored a goal. The great thing about occupying that particular space is um, he can shimmy the ball quickly and roll it between his feet and actually pop the shot off early and he uses the centre back or opposition defender to block the view of the goalkeeper and because Callum hudson Adoy can shoot incredibly early he can often score as he did in that Europa League game. Let's look at another shape. Right now Pulisic is playing down the right flank in the right wing position and although perhaps he's not getting chalk on his boots and offering immense width he's still offering width. 
And the kind of spaces he can get into here, he can try and occupy both the left-handed centre-back and the left-back of the opposition players, creating space for the midfielders or other forward players to sort of combine and move forwards. Meanwhile, on the left, Callum hudson odoi can play more as a sort of inside forward now, and he can cut in to his favoured right foot. In terms of combinational play, he can choose to combine with the Chelsea centre-forward or the number 10, or alternatively, wait for his overlapping fullback. So in an offensive passage of play, he can tuck in, um, wait for Emerson to come on the overlap, either combine with him or just the space that Emerson creates or the players that he draws away offers Callum hudson odoi a shooting chance. Right, let's look at a final shape. Switching flanks yet again, we find Pulisic over on the left. This can offer a more free floating role for the American. Kind of almost more like a number 10, which suits Pulisic. He's played as a number 10, and he's played as a number 10 recently for the USA. When he's got license to roam like this, Pulisic can play between lines and dribble, which he is immensely good at. And in terms of Chelsea remaining wide, Emerson does get forward more than as Pulisic, so he can offer the whip on the left-hand side by getting forward and staying forward. Pulisic roaming around can either combine with his midfielders or look to find Emerson to combine with him as well also to offer width to the offensive passage of play. Meanwhile, Callum hudson Adoy is playing on the right flank and this is something very interesting. He can stretch the pitch incredibly wide and get right down to the byline. Now we've already seen this from Callum hudson Adoy. Maurizio Sarri deployed him as a right winger quite a lot last season to great success. When Chelsea were playing like Morata or Giru and they needed someone to whip in crosses to get on the head, Callum hudson Adoy was doing that. When he puts in crosses with his right foot after getting right up to the byline really wide, he often puts in accurate crosses for an advancing striker. Now of course Chelsea still have Olivier Giroud and if Chelsea are playing with Giroud in the starting 11, Callum hudson odoi would be incredibly effective playing in that right wing putting in crosses. This could suit Tammy Abraham as well just as much as a tall striker. He may not be as adept as using his head as Giroud is, but if any players are advancing in and there's a ball whipped in, anyone can get their head on it, even a centre back like Rudiger or Zuma. So that's a really strong skill set for Callum hudson odoi to have when playing on the right wing. Right, that is enough of the formation and shape analysis for the moment. Okay, so these are just a few ideas of how the two players can be deployed and how they could approach the game or how Frank Lampard could approach the game using these two wingers. All the stuff that I've mentioned is stuff we've already seen from Christian Pulisic and Callum hudson odoi and already that is superb versatility from the young players. They've both displayed immense talent and one would assume they will get even better due to the fact they're still so young. We know both can play on either side of the flank, whether that's super wide or playing more as an inside forward. Really they can both play as a number 10. I know Pulisic is more experienced as playing as a number 10, but if you look at the attributes and skill set of hudson Adoy. There's no reason to say he cannot play as a number 10 either. Now, I'm not saying they should be deployed as a conventional 10, though that role should be kept for, you know, Mason Mount and Ross Barkley. But in terms of playing between the lines and getting more central, both these players can do it. And interestingly, apparently Callum hudson Adoy used to be a striker when playing through the youth rank. So, you know, he can get through the middle and try and bang goals, but personally, I think that wastes him a little bit. Provided they both chip in a little bit more with goals and assists, I mean, it's hard to critique Callum hudson Adoy because he hasn't had that much uh, time on the pitch, but it does look like they both could put out decent offensive numbers moving forward. Chelsea could have a golden generation front line for many, many years to come. Hopefully, Tammy Abraham can be a part of that but it's not, you know, imperative. It just looks like the wingers or the wing positions are sorted. All right, guys, that's the end of my video on Callum hudson Adoy and Christian Pulisic under Frank Lampard playing for Chelsea. Like the video if you've enjoyed the content, please, and get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on these players moving forward. Do you think they are gonna be the golden winger generation for years to come for Chelsea? Or do you think Chelsea will look to buy a top tier winger next summer. Remember you can become a patron to my Patreon page and gain access to exclusive Q&A videos where I answer your questions directly on a video that's accessible only to patrons for just one dollar a month and I'm doing one soon so get on the Patreon and get your question asked. Other than that guys you can follow me on social media if you'd like at Football Yannick, both on Twitter and Instagram. That is at Football Yannick. It's on the frame. Anyway, guys, that is it from me today. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. So enjoy the football, and I will see you later.
way so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me 